So today I'm going to start off with my hair first. I actually have not dyed my hair in quite some time, so it is definitely time for a little refresh. If you have dark hair, you know how it starts to look kind of faded and ashy towards the front, and that's how my hair's been, so it is definitely time for a touch-up. And of course, I'm going to be applying some Vaseline first pretty much everywhere, on my ears, around the perimeter of my face, on my neck. I still always somehow manage to get hair dye all over the place, but this definitely helps a ton, especially so when I'm filming, I don't have a hair dye all over my face. So I know this is a really popular tip. Everybody does it, I'm sure but if you don't do it, it makes a huge difference. And for box dye, I'm gonna be using the Garnier Nutrice Nourishing Color Cream. I have mine in the shade Black is Black, number 11. I love this stuff. I have been using this for years. This is my favorite drugstore box dye. It's so affordable, it's so good. It makes my hair so shiny and healthy, and it's very long lasting, actually. So for a while, I wasn't using this because Garnier wasn't cruelty free, but they actually recently announced that they are officially cruelty free, and I'm so excited because like I said, this is my favorite box dye, and it's so hard to find good cruelty free box dyes that are really affordable nowadays, so I'm so happy that they officially are cruelty free. But yeah, I love this stuff, and this is such a pretty shade of black because it's not too harsh on my skin, but it's like just dark enough, and it's like it's so pretty. I love it. And I know if you're a hairdresser, you're probably cringing because I'm dyeing my hair at home and I'm using box dye. But let me tell you, I have been doing this for so long and I've never had any issues. And I feel like if you're going darker, sometimes it's just more convenient to just dye your hair at home. But if I was doing highlights or something, of course I would go get it done. But for dark hair, I don't mind doing it at home. And of course, got my shower cap on, looking so cute and attractive. I'm gonna leave that in for about 25 minutes, and in the meantime, I'm gonna shave my face. Okay, so first what I'm doing here is just using my NYX Micro Brow Pencil to outline my brows. I know this is really weird, but this is kind of gonna act as a guide for me whenever I do my brows and shave my face, just so that I don't shave too much of my brows, because that has happened to me so many times. That's kind of another little tip that I've done for forever, and it makes such a difference. So for razors today, I'm gonna use these little Tinkle Eyebrow Razors. I love them. You can get them on Amazon. They're like under $5 and they're so good. You can reuse them a couple times and then just recycle when you're all done. And along with those, I'm going to be using my NYX Primer Oil. I love using oil now because I feel like the razor just glides on and it's just a lot more nourishing on the skin. I just love the way that it feels. It's also less irritating versus dry shaving or using something different. I was using aloe vera for a while, but I like this so much better. And to be honest, any facial oil will work for this. I love the NYX one though. It's literally an exact Smashbox Primer Oil dupes. So check it out. But yeah, I am just shaving downwards. And whenever you are shaving or using these little razors, just be very gentle. All you have to do is just do really light strokes and it'll get the job done. And you can just see all of the nasty dead skin peach fuzz. I like to do this once or twice a month and it makes such a difference with my skincare and my makeup. Everything looks smoother and it just goes on better and absorbs better into the skin. So this is definitely probably my favorite part of my pamper routine because I feel like it makes such a difference and my skin feels so soft afterwards. I love doing this. I'm also plucking away those really annoying hairs around my brows. This is pretty much how I groom and keep up with my brows every single month. I used to get them waxed, but now I prefer doing them at home because I feel like my brows aren't as thin as they used to be and they're a little bit more even now than before, so I love doing this as well. And here I'm just taking a damp washcloth. I love these. I get like the big pack from Walmart. They're so affordable and they're great in my beauty routine or when I'm doing my makeup. But yeah, I am just taking that cloth and pretty much just wiping away any excess oil or little hairs that I may have left over on my face. And this is also the time where I take my tweezers once again and just touch up my brows one last time. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little teeth whitening. I'm gonna use this After Brushing Whitening Booster. I actually originally saw this on TikTok and it was sold out for the longest and I kind of forgot about it and then I was at Target recently and I saw it and it was so affordable, it was under $10 and I was like, let me give it a try, why not? So you pretty much just brush your teeth like you normally would and then you go in with this afterwards and just brush with this for about a minute. And I didn't really notice a huge difference. My teeth are pretty white to begin with, but it did feel very minty, very refreshing. This also didn't make my gum sensitive or like burn or irritate or anything so I'll keep you guys updated the more that I use it and then of course I'm gonna go ahead and rinse away that hair dye whenever I dye my hair at home I always rinse and then shampoo twice and today for shampoo I'm gonna be using the root to end replenishing shampoo so this is a new hair care line at Dollar General everything is just five dollars super great quality you guys vegan cruelty free sulfate free paraben free like everything it's like really good stuff at such a great price and I have really been enjoying their hair care line for the past couple months their shampoo lathers really well and all the products smell amazing and today I'm gonna 
be using the root to end conditioner as well. I'm kind of going to use it as a deep conditioner, which I always like to do whenever I do dye my hair just to get that extra moisture in there. So I'm just going to leave that in. And then in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and just wash my body, shave my legs. Today I'm using this Dove Pampering Body Wash. This smells so good. And I have really been enjoying Dove Body Washes because they lather really nicely and they last a while on the skin even when I get out of the shower. So I love them. And I'm also gonna be washing my face in the shower, and this is my favorite holy grail cleanser, the Youth to the People Superfood Cleanser. My skin always feels the best whenever I use this, and I love it so much. This is actually my third bottle. I just stocked up during the Sephora sale, so you know the commitment and dedication is real, but yeah, it's so good. It's my favorite. All right, you guys, this next combo is gonna give you super soft, buttery skin. Tree Hut Sugar Scrubs with this Dollar Tree exfoliating washcloth. And this combo is just under $10. So first, I like to just take the scrub and just apply it with my hands all over my body, pretty much everywhere, my arms, my legs, my stomach, and then I go in with the washcloth and really get in there and exfoliate my skin. This thing is so good, you guys, and it's just $1. Run to your Dollar Tree and get this because it is perfect for pamper nights, and plus you can reuse it, so it is a win-win. And this is honestly the key to super soft skin because the scrub on its own is really nice, but I feel like using an exfoliating cloth with it just takes it to the next level and makes your skin super soft. Of course, for all my lady parts, I always use my Dove Sensitive Skin Bar of Soap. I've been using this for years. It's so good and also so affordable. I am nice and cozy in my big t-shirt. And as always, I am using my native coconut and vanilla deodorant. And I'm also going to be using a sheet mask today. So I wanted something a little bit more nourishing and hydrating since I did shave my face. I just wanted to kind of soothe it a little bit more. And these always feel amazing on the skin, especially after shaving. So this is what they look like. They're from the Raw Juice Cleanse Mask Set from ESW Beauty. And it's so cute because it looks like little juice bottles, but they're just sheet masks. So yeah, I can't wait to try out the other ones, but these feel amazing on the skin, the two that I've tried so far. So yeah, this one is a strawberries and cream one. Again, it's just a soothing one and it feels so good. I left that in for about 10, 15 minutes. And in the meantime, I was just prepping my hair and just applying all of my go-to products. So for leave-in conditioner, this is so good. So lightweight, just like the name says. It's from the brand Heritage. You can actually get it at Walmart and everything is like $10 and under, like super affordable. But again, great quality. Lots of affordable products in today's video. Not on purpose, just what I just genuinely use. Yeah, this is a great leave-in conditioner because it's also a detangler, so it's just great. It smells great, and I'm just using my wet brush just to run that through my hair, get out any tangles. I also love this Heritage Argan Oil. This is so good because again, it's very lightweight, doesn't weigh my hair down or make it greasy, but it just adds a little extra shine. I love it when my hair is wet or whenever it is dry after I'm done styling it because it just adds a little extra boost to it and it's so good. And sticking with the same scent from Tree Hut that I used earlier for the body scrub, this is the body butter and it smells so good, just as good as the body scrub. It's also really hydrating and I feel like the moisture actually lasts for multiple hours throughout the night or even throughout the day. So if you apply this, let's say before bed, in the morning you'll wake up and your skin's still gonna be super soft so definitely recommend these body butters are some of the best ones that I've tried and then I'm gonna do this little intensive foot repair treatment so I got this from Amazon originally saw it on TikTok. it was like under $10 so I was immediately sold because the reviews are really good and the claims looked really good so basically this is kind of like a gel and then I just applied it all over my feet and then it says to go over top with socks just to get the full effect so I just put on some fuzzy socks and I let these on for about like 15 minutes or so this doesn't make my feet completely brand new I feel like I have to use this product multiple times throughout the week to get that full effect but I will say with the socks and after just leaving this on for like 15 20 minutes I do feel feel like my feet are a lot softer and I like how easy this product is because all you have to do is just apply it and then put your socks on for a little bit and then you're good to go so I'm going to keep using it throughout the week and I will keep you guys updated then I went ahead and just removed my sheet mask and I rubbed in all of that goodness from the sheet mask onto my skin just for some extra hydration but I wanted to take it a little step further so I went in with my normal moisturizer that I always use this is the elf happy hydration cream I normally use this at night but I wanted something a little bit extra thick and creamy just because I did shave my face and this is perfect it's not greasy it doesn't weigh the skin down and you could use it during the day as well if you like something a little bit creamier and thicker but I normally just do it at night because I want something a little bit more rich and it was the morning slash afternoon when I did film this video, so I am following up with some SPF. This is my favorite from Tula, the Protect and Glow. It is so glowy and pretty and super hydrating on the skin, but it is pricey, so this one from Pacifica is another really great option, and I feel like it could be a good dupe for the Tula one. I do use that one also from time to time. I feel like it's not identical to the Tula one, but it gives you a very similar effect. So I always take the extra SPF and drag it down to my neck, and then with the rest of that product, I go in and apply it on my hands. So then I'm gonna, of course, go in and moisturize my lips. This is my favorite 
lip butter at the moment. This is the Avocado Butter Lip Mask from Milani. You guys, this is so creamy. I love it before bed, in the morning, before makeup. This is pretty much all that I've been using, to be honest. It is just that good, and it reminds me of the Laneige Lip Mask, but it's a lot more affordable. Now it is nail time. So I used to hate doing my nails at home, and I used to hate my natural nails for such a long time. I always got them done, always had acrylics, but lately I find it so therapeutic just doing my nails at home. I love watching my favorite shows or my favorite YouTubers while doing this. I'm currently watching Taylor Wynn, and I just find this very relaxing, to be honest. Sometimes I paint my nails, or sometimes I do the Kiss Press On nails, which I also love, but actually lately I've been painting them because I love this nude color from Dollar Tree. It's literally one dollar, you guys, and it is the prettiest, most opaque nude. It's not too light. It's not too dark. It is beautiful. This is the best top coat, the Salon Perfect Plumping Gel top coat. I love it. I just got it at Walmart, and it dries really fast too, which I love, and then I just top my nails off with a little cuticle oil, and they are all ready to go. Like, how perfect is that nude shade? One dollar, you guys. Run to Dollar Tree. And the final thing to end a perfect pamper day for me is always a smoothie. This is one of my favorites. It's just frozen fruit, spinach, some green powder, and water. And of course, I'm going to go outside and enjoy the weather with my pup. If you guys watch my vlogs, you know that Bernard is my world. He's literally my child. I love him so much. He's the best. And of course, he's going to get some treats too. So these are just homemade little treats that I made him. And I put them in these Dollar Tree molds. It's just strawberry, bananas, and yogurt. And I just froze them and he loves them. So that is pretty much it for this pamper routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!